back in the day before Pandora, Apple Music, and Spotify. If you wanted to hear the latest songs from your favorite artists, you had to tune into your local radio stations. DJs would take calls and interact with their listeners and play their requests. Every so often, instead of taking requests, DJs would take a shout out. Calls from listeners to call out and celebrate their friends and family. It's been a minute since I've heard a shout out on the radio, but I see shout outs all the time on social media. People post photos and messages tagged with their friends and coworkers to celebrate them and thank them for their care and contributions. Shout outs like this can go a long way. Shout outs make me wonder, when people take the time to help us, do we take the time to thank them? Maybe we say thanks when people go above and beyond, but what about thanking people for the little things or simply showing up. Gratitude sometimes feels like a lost art, yet gratitude is an idea close to God's heart. Think about all the Bible stories where people give thanks to each other, celebrate God with feasts and festivals, not to mention the Psalms that are filled with songs of praise. What would happen if our kids started to notice people around them and give some shout outs to let them know they're thankful? That could be a game changer. That's why we're taking the month of November to discover more about gratitude, letting others know you see how they've helped you. Most importantly, we hope kids recognize how much God has helped them. So together we'll memorize Psalm 136, one. Give thanks to the Lord because he is good. His faithful love continues forever. Now let's see where we're headed this month as we see how gratitude shows up throughout the Bible. For week one, we look more closely at something Paul wrote in 1 Thessalonians 5.18. Give thanks no matter what happens. God wants you to thank him because you believe in Christ Jesus. It's pretty clear. Giving thanks is something God wants us to do. No matter what happens, we can be thankful for Jesus and God's gift of salvation. This week, we'll remember that we always have something to be grateful for. In week two, we find King David in a powerful moment in Israel's history. David had the privilege of bringing the Ark of the Covenant back to Jerusalem. He was so overwhelmed with gratitude and excitement that he danced and celebrated. David was willing to make himself look foolish to give God the credit he deserved. It is evident when you read the Psalms, one of the things that marked David's life is that he prioritized showing gratitude to God. Like David, we should look to celebrate what God has done. Then in week three, we head to the book of Luke and discover a significant moment when 10 lepers asked Jesus to heal them. When their skin condition went away, they were so thrilled about the miracle, they ran off and forgot to say thank you, all except one who came back. We hope kids realize the importance of remembering to say thank you. Next, we head back to the book of Matthew with one of Jesus' parables. In the story, a few of the vineyard workers started making comparisons about what others were getting paid. They became ungrateful for what they did receive and started complaining. In the end, they needed to adjust their attitude and be grateful. Sometimes we'll need to think about what's keeping us from being grateful, adjust our attitude, and show some gratitude for all that we do have. Finally, we end the month with a lesson about how we can remember and show gratitude for how Jesus rescued us. In 1 Corinthians 11, Paul talks about taking time out to celebrate communion or the Lord's Supper. When we drink the cup and eat the bread, we celebrate that Jesus lived and died and rose again to make us right with God. We pray that kids will start to understand that we should get in the habit of showing God just how grateful we are to Him for Jesus. November will be a significant month. Gratitude is a simple but powerful principle that can affect how you see God, how you see others, and how you see yourself. It's something that affects every relationship you have. Sometimes gratitude takes a little bit of intentionality. Sometimes you have to stop, think about your life, and remember to give a shout out to God and the amazing people God's placed in your life.